this is the first day uh, that it's really snowed and stuck and usually this time of year I am like totally a grunge totally grumbling and moaning and I usually hate the snow like a lot do not like it at all but today because I'm winter gardening, I am so excited to go outside and show you all what the garden looks like with this white, beautiful blanket across it. Um, right now, looking at my back porch, I'm like, ah! like I can't wait to get out there. So let's go. All right, so this is my patio. I have literally can't even remember the last time I saw it covered in snow and there's the pergola that I had built last summer and there's snow all over it and it's so pretty my cat like look at her she does not know what to think about this she's not happy she is like let me inside mom I do not want to be out here <laughs> all right let's get to it under my first frost blanket and we'll see what's going on under here I'm hoping there will be some green but you never know so see how this is just kind of laying on the snow is all over it this is not gonna be good for my plants I definitely should have built something to keep it off I mean as you can see you can you can't really even see the frost blanket it just looks like a bunch of snow but underneath there is actually a blanket um, called a frost blanket or a frost cloth. If you all have seen my videos before, you're probably familiar with this already. All right, so we're gonna see, I do see a little bit of green hiding under there. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, the moment of truth. So I'm just gonna start to pull it up. <laughs> There's definitely some green under here. Some stuff looks a little sad. Here we go. Ugh. Ah, look at that! still green. I honestly have no idea what I planted here. Some kind of brassica. The leaves are good though and they're still alive so that's good. <laughs> I did not harvest and literally the only reason why I harvested it well it didn't really quite look ready but the other reason is because I wanted to see how it withstood the winter um, to know if I'd be good to go or not planting cabbage in the ground so the other thing I have over here is some cilantro um, and it looks to be doing really really good too like nothing uh, hurt it at all <music> So you can see that um, my Napa cabbage is doing absolutely fine. Totally great. Um, however, this over here is some broccoli. It has struggled some. So some of my broccoli actually got covered with some snow. Um, unfortunately, the wind blew some of the frost cloth off, which is why it is really important to properly secure it. That was my mistake. Um, I won't be making that mistake again. However, it really didn't affect it this time. Um, it's still doing the same as it was. 
I'm gonna go ahead and knock off the snow so that these little babies don't stay too cold. Um, but like I said, just ensure that if you are using frost cloth that you are making sure it's secured. And I will be doing a video soon on how to actually get the frost cloth off of the plants instead of just laying it over like I've been doing. Cause now that we're getting into more of the winter, I really don't want this snow uh, packing down on these plants, especially if we have a big snow. Like I'm not trying to get out here. <laughs> get all of it off of my plants every morning because it's freezing work smarter not harder that is pretty much my motto for everything all right so let's see what's going on underneath my hoop houses I just did a video on how I made these things um, as you can see them behind me um, it's not perfect by any means um, but it is a good start so let's get under here and see kind of what's going on. I'm really excited. I'm pretty positive that everything I planted is going to be fine, but I honestly have never done this once again. So I don't have any idea. I just kind of feel like I know what my babies need. Um, you know, just like that, uh, intuition that us gardeners have. All right, so let's go ahead and see what my plants look like underneath my new hoop house that I just built. I'm so glad I built this just in time for this snow um, or it would be much more difficult. And the snow is falling off everything right now. It's kind of freaking me out because it sounds like little feet that are battering around everywhere, but it's the snow falling off and kind of melting right now. Even though it's freezing, it literally sounds like somebody's creeping around my garden. It's super freaking me out, but it's snow. I'm trying to remember that. All right, so let's go ahead, open this and see if my plants survived. Pretty sure they're going to. I'm super excited. First time, this is a first for me. Like literally my first time seeing what my plants do in the snow. Well, technically there's no snow on them, but you know what I mean. Okay. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna take my clips off And then I'm just gonna simply clip this into place to hold it up while I take a peek and see what's in here. All right, here we go. Ah, it looks great! Totally thriving, completely fine. This is Swiss chard. Um, in my bed right here and as you can see it is completely not effective like not affected at all this is um, super exciting so I wanted to kind of show you guys this I wasn't sure what it was gonna look like I was pretty sure it was gonna be fine but I wanted to show you all that even though if you're gardening through the summer months you don't have to stop there you don't have to stop after your summer crops have died, you can totally have food all winter coming from your very own garden. Okay, I mean, I'm excited about that. I hope that you are too. So this bed does not have a lot growing in it. Like I said, this year is a total experiment. So I wasn't trying to put a whole lot of effort into growing. This is my first year doing this and um, I basically just wanted to see what would work and what wouldn't work um, so that come next year I can just go balls to the wall and grow everything um, that I want throughout the winter months that are cool weather crops because tomatoes, green peppers, none of that stuff is going to survive right now. We have to stick to cool weather crops and I'm pretty sure that the majority of them are going to do fine. In fact, a lot of these guys actually look to be doing better than even a couple weeks ago so now that the temperatures are even colder kind of look like they're doing better um which is good news now as far as my peas back here um i don't really have any expectations for those i just wanted to kind of like i said experiment see what see what would happen see if they would um grow at all um and they are growing but they're growing really really slow which I pretty much figured 
that. Also have some onions growing in here. I have some kale, like I said, some peas, um, and then some collards. So things are growing kind of slow, but they're still green. They're still surviving, um, which is super exciting. I actually have two different kinds of kale in here. I have the dinosaur kale, um, and then I have just like some green leafy kale. Um, both are doing really good. And uh, so we'll see as the winter kind of progresses how fast that they actually grow. I should have gotten this all together um, sooner than I did, but I just really wasn't sure if this would even work. So like I said, I just really wasn't trying to put too much effort into it. So I just uncovered my radishes and they are still green and doing nice but I don't want to keep having to put frost cloth over this. This is in a container that I planted these in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this container underneath my greenhouse plastic. Instead of planting new radishes, I'm just going to throw this pot under there uh, to protect it through the winter and hopefully get some radishes. All right, so next I'm going to be uncovering my Swiss chard that's actually in the ground. So I wanted to have some in my um, underneath my hoop houses above my raised beds um, where they're getting a little bit more protection, but then I wanted to also have some planted in the ground um, to kind of see how they did. Now, Swiss chard does come back if it's protected. I planted it um, in the beginning of the springtime and it lasted all summer, all fall. And now let's see, it's doing fine underneath the hoop house, but let's see how it's doing underneath the frost cloth. You can see that it looks like a big pile of snow. But there's frost cloth. And snow on top. So let's go ahead and lift that off and uh, see if it survived. I do see some green sticking out under here which is a good sign. All right here we go. <laughs> it looks like it's fine. Look at those greens. That is incredible guys. You, you do not know how happy this makes me. Um, and it's you know it's only about 32 degrees out today. It's pretty cold. Um, but it's not super cold. So I don't know how this is going to do going forward. I am going to build something over this, uh, and put the frost cloth on it. Maybe eventually I'll even put plastic depending on how it goes. Now, the further I go into this, the more I learn, um, I'm sure things will change. So please keep following, keep gardening, keep growing. Don't give up just because it's cold out. If it's cold in your area, I am proof that this works and you can still have greens throughout the winter months. watching me nerd out as I go around my garden and discover all the green that's still here. Um, if you like this video, please like it, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Yogi Gardens. Thank you all so much. I hope this helped in some way um, to kind of know what you can grow throughout the winter months. I hope this inspires you because that is really my goal here is to inspire you to grow your own food. With the recent pandemic and everything going on in the world, it is so important that we utilize our land and what we have. I don't have a big backyard back here. Um, some people grow on patios, you know? I mean, there's just endless ways that you can grow your own food and provide for yourself and your family. I think that it is so crucial, especially now during these times. So thank you all so much. Happy gardening. And if you're not gardening, maybe think about starting one. Thank you guys.